Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, El Toro. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You know, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you can see in a ring. Tonight, we get to watch it inside of an octagon. Big kick. Big power shot there. In the tie clinch. Look for the knees to start. And they are exchanging leather early. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very active, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Lands the elbow, that should leave him off. Great punch. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. 
So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Trying to establish that jab once again. Connects with a right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight right, he misses. Beautiful strike. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice defense there, huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. That knee might have landed there. Oh, man, how is he standing after he ate that knee? He has absorbed so many of them in this round, and now you can visibly see some of the damage that has been inflicted by his opponent. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with it. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time if you guys are in close. Nice head kick. The right hand just misses. Man, has he come out aggressively to start this fight and landing at a pretty good clip, too, connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body. Very technical striker, but tonight, really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice. Nice left hand there on the inside. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Missed with that right hand. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Checks that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Inside leg kick. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Lands flush with the left hand. Final seconds here. Just out of range with the big right hand. Round two next. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seems as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. OK, you ready? Round two. Ready? So far. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. And there comes the separation now. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on them by blocking all these attacks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Slips 
throws the punch. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Back and forth we go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter this way. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. What a punch. And they separate. Oh, Lance flushed with the elbow. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he slips to avoid the right. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Nice straight punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Uh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Such a fast leg kick. I wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice punch there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. <laughs> Throws the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hand. The punch. Big punch lands. Ooh. This blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Sneaky head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That punch, no good. And that's the end of round number two. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Third round underway. Nice 
nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Slips that left hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch lands. Oh, nice. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just misses with the straight right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Oh, straight right. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> to the jab now, no good. Head off the center line, slips the punch. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just, oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent to wow. stand back. Oh, he might be out. And a knee. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. He's certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Ooh, big shot land. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, really good job by him. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And really starting to make these shots count. One minute remains in round three. And that's gonna do it. That'll do it! He got it! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent solely saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, 
All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.